making those hits are fun. You celebrate yeah. those. But, you know, you were in the locker room, you know, as a former player, you would see those guys taking a journey down the hall, you know, and how their livelihoods was affected. Now they got to, yeah. you know, relocate or what have you after their cut and release. How difficult is it for you when you have these guys come in, you establish relationships, and then sometimes it's a numbers game, sometimes it's you know injuries and all these different things. How difficult is it for you to have to make that call to say, hey, I got to let you go? Gut-wrenching. I, I just did it. One, one, one young man sat in that chair today, and he's a rookie free agent, and we got... We have some guys out on the D-line, and the kid's doing everything we're asking of them. And that's the hard part. When guys are doing everything you ask, but there's just circumstances. And we have to make a move yeah. or we're getting too light at defensive end. And you bring the young man. I think the greatest lesson I learned, um, some places will have a younger scout do, do those duties, go get the playbook. Uh, Tony Dungy taught me. It's not going to make it easier, but at least they can understand if they get to talk to the people who are making the decisions. And so... Kyle's got a lot to do, but he'll hit most of them. I, I try to hit every single one of them uh, because if, if they can look at the guy who's making the decision, I can tell them, here's why we're doing this. And some guys, I, I have to have the un uncomfortable conversation that, hey, man, you, you may want to think about doing something else because you've got a lot to offer. I'm not sure it's in this. And that's uh, very seldom because you don't want to kill people's dreams. And I've seen people who you thought could never succeed come out of the ashes, but... I think when they can look in the decision maker's eyes, um, that goes a long way. And it doesn't make it any easier, but I think they can respect it and say, at least they look me in the eye on the way out. And so I've tried to do that the seven years here, and, and uh, that's something I'll never stop doing.